So the um, TGP43 protein um, that, that forms these protein clumps in, in motor neurons as they're getting damaged, is, is it normally resides in the nucleus of the cell, but it shuttles between the nucleus and cytoplasm. And it's really important for multiple aspects of RNA processing, including correct splicing of genes. So splicing um, where the linker sequences are cut out and where different isoforms of a particular gene might be made. And so as part of the problem with TDP43 proteinopathy is that the nuclear level of that protein is reduced, so it's not able to do its splicing functions properly. And so some um, particular genes, including the one coding for Stathmin 2, um, are not produced in the correct sequence. And so they, they produce um, either don't produce a protein at all or produce an unstable protein that um, isn't kind of operating at the right level or function of the normal Stathmin 2 protein. And, and that protein is particularly important for the health of axons of motor neurons. And, and motor neurons have such big, long axons. You can imagine a motor neuron sitting in the lower spinal cord supplying a, a muscle in the lower leg might be more than a meter in length. So motor neurons are particularly um, dependent on having a healthy axon to do their function. And if Stathmin 2 gets lowered, um, then, you know, the axon, axonal health um, deteriorates. So that um, ASO affecting the splicing um, is is all aimed about raising the level of that important protein for motor neuron health.